Hello people, in the previous video we started off with strabismus or squint. Then we saw terminologies, what else we saw? <clears throat> we saw extraocular muscles, right? We saw the muscles uh, and uh, which direction they move the eyeball in, right? Then we saw the innervation nerves also. Then we saw that uh, the muscles can be synergous or antagonist in a single eye. In a double, when you com com compare both the eyes, there will be something called as yoke muscles and contralateral antagonists, okay? <clears throat> then we saw gazes, primary gaze, then uh, secondary gaze, then tertiary gaze, then cardinal gazes we saw. Then we saw about Herring law, Sherrington Sher law, all that. Then we saw that though we use two eyes, we will see only one image, uh, finally, finally. Okay, then we saw terminologies like ESO, EXO, HYPER, HYPO, CYCLO. And then we started off, uh, we looked at some more examples of ESO, EXO, HYPER, HYPO, etc. Now, then we saw that in strabismus or squint, there are two types. That is heterotropia, in which you can see that uh, their eye is having that visual access problem. And heterophoria, where actually you cannot uh, see it. Okay, but it becomes apparent only when they are tired, etc. Okay, so in this video, we want to look at heterophoria. Heterophoria is also known as latent strabismus. It is also called as latent strabismus. Okay, and it is a condition in which the tendency of the eye to deviate is kept latent by fusion. So, the, ten the eyes have a tendency to deviate, but that tendency is not allowed to happen the eyes are kept this deviation is kept latent by fusion okay fusion is there the deviation is not allowed to happen okay therefore when the influence of the fusion is removed the visual axis of one of the eye deviates away so whenever let us say this person got tired or something then that deviation starts manifesting right so that is the uh, hetero what are we looking at guys heterophoria okay so this is also called as latent strabismus uh, there will be fusion because the eye will is that uh, you know though the eyes have a tendency to deviate they are kept together by fusion whenever this fusion force goes away then the visual axis of one eye deviates away okay so basically most of the world will have heterophoria okay nobody has this uh, orthophoria they will have some amount of uh, in apparent latent kind of squint okay where are the heterophoria yeah yeah so orthophoria whatever they are saying that is only a theoretical concept everybody will have little heterophoria that is called as physiological heterophoria so the textbook says here that a small amount of heterophoria is of universal occurrence and it is known as physiological heterophoria. Okay, now under this heterophoria, as usual, we should have so many types, right? So there is esophoria, exophoria, hyperphoria and cyclophoria. We have already looked at all that. In this, they have written tropia, but if it is phoria, that is, if it is apparent only when the fusion uh, uh, that uh, fusion force is removed, then it will become esophoria, hyperphoria, exophoria, hypophoria. Okay, and we told you in addition to this uh, eso, exo, hyper, hypo, there is something called a cyclophoria, this is torsional deviation, a tendency of the eyeball to rotate around the anterior posterior axis. Again, inside this, there is in cyclophoria, in cyclophoria. So, guys, let us look at this. We are under strabismus squint chapter. We are looking at there are two types heterotropia and heterophoria. We are looking at this one now heterophoria. See, there are many causes uh, because of uh, for this heterophoria, but we will just go with what makes sense to us. Okay, there is a lot of complication here, but we will just try to understand. There is some faulty insertion of some muscle. Okay, or there is some mild degree of um, uh, muscular weakness. Okay, so insertion now, if this is the eyeball, the muscle itself is not inserted properly, right? Or if the uh, muscle is a little weak, okay, or um, there is anatomical variation in the position of the macula in relation to the optical axis, the macula itself is not in the right position, 
or with age guys with age all this uh, starts happening okay role of accommodation role of convergence dissociation factor so many things are there but what you should understand is this person's eyes are perfect okay only when there is some decompensation then the squint or strabismus becomes apparent okay now why why does all this happen first of all this fusion whatever was happening that fusional reserve is inadequate now general debility lowered vitality psychosis neurosis some stress you know this person got so stressed precision of job advancing age as they age etc etc hmm? in this again guys there are two types compensated decompensated compensated means there is no subjective symptoms so that means it is compensated whatever uh, that uh, um uh, uh, imbalance is there that is being compensated for okay now decompensated some multiple symptoms will be there muscular fatigue okay headache eye ache difficulty in changing the focus photophobia symptoms of failure to maintain binocular single vision blurring crowding of words they can have intermittent diplopia intermittent squint see these people have only intermittent symptoms defective postural sensation so you can see the symptoms they are coming with this like very something like headache they are coming they are coming with photophobia they are coming with blurring intermittent diplopia intermittent squint defective postural sensation they are having problem in judging some distance of the object especially of moving objects so imagine if he is a cricketer he tries to catch the ball he thinks the ball is here he puts his hand but there's no ball there something like that this is what the textbook says now how will you check this heterophoria this is some vague symptoms the person has come with then you will do this cover uncover test okay you will do this uh, cover uncover test first you will check whether they have some refractive error right sometimes they can have refractive error right uh, then you do cover uncover test so when when the eye is covered right and then you uncover it then there is movement that you see right so uh, let's say you cover this eye let's say you cover this eye okay and then you remove the cover then you see that the same eye it moves so then you know this guy has heterophoria okay then there is something called as prism cover test there is something called as maddox rod test there is something called as maddox ring test uh, wing test maddox wing test okay so many tests are there wait this is some maddox tangent scale this one maddox tangent scale this is some maddox rod then this one is um, Maddox rod test for horizontal and vertical heterophorias. Okay, phorias. You can remember. Then in these people, you will also measure convergence, accommodation. This is some <clears throat> Maddox wing test. Wing Maddox wing it is, and Maddox wing test. This is esophoria, exophoria, left hyperphoria, right hyperphoria. Hyper is up and hyper is down also in this diagram. Okay. and there is something in this wing they have shown like some eyes and then they will measure the uh, fusional reserve vertical fusional reserve horizontal negative fusional reserve horizontal positive fusional reserve so many things they will measure then finally what treatment will they give for these people let's look at the treatment now heterophoria this treatment you will give for people like who are decompensated right that means uh, they have some symptoms right to such people you will give now what treatment you will give you will correct the refractive error correct the refractive error then you can do ortho orthoptic treatment tell to do some nice exercises i exercises then you can give prism in glasses prescription of prism in glasses um in troublesome cases okay and they will give uh, only half or at most two third of the heterophoria whatever is there only that much they will try to correct it seems not the whole thing looks like then surgical surgical what they will do they will strengthen the weak muscle or weaken the strong muscle let's understand that a little recession means the muscle is moved backward so this should weaken it right what do you see and resection they are cutting a long muscle so the muscle if they are cutting that means it is going to become strong what do you see yes resection 
that means if you cut the part of the muscle it will become strong they will cut the part of the muscle length will decrease and it will uh, become strong so in this video we started off with heterophoria heterophoria is latent strabismus okay and here uh, basically there is a fusion force which tries to keep the visual axis parallel okay but whenever uh, this that is a compensated case but whenever <clears throat> there uh, this fusion force is not enough then there will be a decompensated case right where they will have this uh, you can check this heterophoria with cover uncover text maddox rod etc what will happen whenever this person is having some uh, what did they say psychosis so whenever that person has psychosis neurosis mental stress uh, advancing age general debility lowered vitality that fusional reserve which was there that will become inadequate and they will have symptoms like what headache uh, photophobia uh, intermittent diplopia intermittent squint blurring uh, then they cannot they cannot judge the position of an object especially a moving object right and uh, they'll have all this eye ache etc so for them how will you treat you will correct the cause the refractive error you will try to correct you will tell them to do some nice exercises okay and then you will give them prisms uh, under correction again they are telling surgical finally if nothing works they have to surgically correct the muscles extraocular muscles that they will do by two terminologies what were the two terminologies recession resection so that's all in heterophoria guys so you know where heterophoria comes right here under strabismus squint you have heterotropia and heterophoria heterophoria is done 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 prism 